Brad, how did you get started? In 1977, I started a small trucking company. And at that time, I recognized that I wanted my business model to be transportation and warehousing. In 1980, I went and rented a small building in Pawtucket, and we've been growing ever since. So you lease storage space, and lots of it. Yes, we do, but it's uh, quite a bit more complicated than just leasing space. Next stop, let's go to the warehouse and talk to Brad Jr. Could you elaborate on the service part? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, we basically are responsible for handling manufacturers, whether it be international or domestic products. We take it into our building, we scan it into the inventory, which goes into our warehouse management system, which is then stored until the customer places an order with us, in which we go out, pick the case, the skid, the piece, slap a label on it, package it, and send it out to the uh, final destination. And they can actually log into our website and they can see their product, whether it's in the warehouse, in transit, or if it's been delivered to the customer. So basically, you could have a customer or a manufacturer that's on the West Coast or globally, and they could ship their products, store them here, and then call upon them at any time to be brought to particular outlets, and they never have to handle the product. Yes. Give me an idea of how big Dean Warehouse Service is in terms of square footage. Well, we currently have about 1.5 million square feet under our operation in Rhode Island in California. Currently looking to expand into possibly Midwest Canada and uh, southern part of the country. 